It's the haunting echo, the sinking feeling, and a familiar sound to anyone who has lost a loved one. Brad Larson's chimes are the first thing you hear as the East Grand Forks High School Band pays tribute to his best friend, Monty Zach, whose picture hangs above the classroom door. At times it's a little eerie. The idea to have a song written for Monty came up after his death two years ago. So he was killed by a drunk driver, which was a real tragedy. And we kind of let the conversation end there and he said, give me some time to digest this and let's talk in a month. Eighteen months after talking with band director Herb T. Thompson, the composer finished Monty's song. It starts with a goodbye, but as the title says, that's only the beginning. It's, it's kind of that, that feeling of a life that's emerging and, and cut off, and it keeps coming back to these eclipses of, of Monty's life. Throughout the middle, and then the slow part with the flute and clarinets, like I stop and just think about it, and I just get a visual of him and his life and all the stuff we did together. Brad says he heard only positive feedback from the 74 other students in the band at the idea of honoring Monty, who would have graduated last year. T sees the same thing from where he sits. Uh, this is the first song I've ever pulled out where I haven't ha had somebody complain about having to play it. We pull it out and they go to work on it. Monday night, Monty's song will fill this empty auditorium, and sitting in the audience listening for the first time will be his mom, Joyce Sack. I hope they get a, a great remembrance of him. I hope other people learn from it. I hope it makes an impact. In East Grand Forks, with photographer James DeGelder, Lori Cowan, WDAZ News.